Hello everybody, welcome back to Yenner's Cake Tips again. Thank you so much for joining me. As you realize, Yenner's Cake Tips is about giving you a mixture of practical ideas to help you to develop additional skills on top of your existing knowledge. Sometimes I also add some ideas to solve common problems. Today we're going to talk about how to solve one of that huge problem with a very small effortless action. The problem, what I'm talking about, is wetness on the cake after coating with fondant, causing delays and hassle. So imagine that you spend so much time to decorate cake and then you're halfway through, everything doesn't work. The surface so get wet. So whatever you stick on it, it just falls off. And then whatever you want to paint on it is not going to work. So, and many, many more actions would end up with a failure. The reason of this big problem is obviously condensation caused by temperature difference between the environment and the object, which is your cake. And accelerate even worse if the object is hydroscopic, means compound that easily absorb moisture from the atmosphere, which is the fondant, is one of that hydroscopic material we always work with. Here is what's happening. Most of the time, if cakes is not firm enough, like butter cake or rich fruit cake, we put the cakes in the fridge to make it firm before coating with fondant. Because the firmness is necessary to take all the pushes we apply to make the fondant smooth, we're pushing on one side with the smoother, with the, with the leveler, and then the other side we're holding maybe sometimes a little bit, but the cake, if it's not firm enough, we're pushing into the soft cake, we're just deforming the shape of the cake. The firmness of the cold cake will last for a while, and also at the same time, we'll get some condensation on the surface, on the fondant or whatever you have on the cake or buttercream. So that condensation will be sticky enough to stick the fondant on the surface. But having said that, Depending on the which fondant you use, how big is the cake and how cold is the cake will determine how much time you will have before the condensation starts after the fondant coating on the cold surface of the cake. It is quite possible that if you don't fiddle too long by rolling and measuring and everything and also don't spend too much time on like a leveling, so you do just like the effective and short and precise actions, you will have enough time to do your precaution act before the wetness starts on the fondant surface. Let's stop talking about the problem, we start talking about the solution. So I have one example over here to talk about, but I'd like to bring one more example to the table. I have these two tier wedding cake to finish to decorate. So one of them is a 25 centimeter wide and then 20 centimeter height inside this pot. And here is the 20 centimeter wide and 15 centimeter height. So first rule is place your cakes on a large flat platforms that can take and cover on top and touching everywhere without having any gap on the side. All right. And then secondly, stand by with a pot like this before you start rolling your fondant. So I have those cooking pots here, even I have larger ones, I have no problem to, to find it, but you may not have this kind of pots, so you just use anything plastic. For example, this, this fondant uh, baguette here, fondant pail here, it will cover this. So let me show you. So if I take this out, this is a kind of like croissant or Danish pastry uh, lid. So this one goes on it like this. It is still, it is still not touching, just a little bit of gap in between. All right. So that will do the job exactly as it is. All right. So if you don't have even that kind of thing, you can go and buy yourself plastic pails or like, for example, for large cakes, you can even get some uh, flower pots that which is a plastic flower pots. Uh, it's very cheap with some holes under it, but you can always close them with some sticky tape. So that's the trick. So as soon as you cover your cake after your leveling, you will eliminating the moisture appear on the surface. I'm sure there's a question now, how long we have to keep these pots on the cake so we have security that the cakes doesn't get wet. So uh, what you have to do, you touch the table, you feel the temperature here, and then after that, you remove that your coverage and touch the cake. If it is the same, if the cake is still a bit cold, that means a little bit cold is okay, but if it's too cold, you have to put it back again. So basically it's about, uh, for that size cake, for example, I would easily do it 
a night before and then next morning I will continue to decorate. And this one maybe just a few hours will be enough. So let's check this one. Why I have this fondant on the side? Because there is some knocking uh, sort of the damages on the corner of the, of the pot. So I don't want to have any air going inside. That's why I cover it with fondant. So what I do, I just spray a bit of water after that placing the pot on the surface and then roll a bit of fondant and stick it over here. It will completely seal. So I done this just about a couple of hours ago. This is not last night. This is also a couple of hours ago. So let's check how this one look like now. So I just remove my fondant. I'm expecting uh, not 100% dryness because it's not enough time passed, but let's check. And I'd like to show you how to check another way with the uh, digital thermometer. So this is called infrared thermometer, not digital. So I just remove like this and then see how this looks like. This is very dry, but it's still very cold. So it will, it, it will intend to get, get sort of like wet after sometimes if I'm not covering again. So when I look at here, the room is about 27 degrees. And when I put over here, it's about 16 degrees. So that is definitely not ready yet. And this one, uh, the room is 26 degrees, I said, and then here is about 22 degrees. So this is also uh, just about finished, but not really. So I, it's very dry. It's cold, but very dry. So that is a good, good news. So I will cover this again like this very carefully. And I wait a couple of more hours and I'll take it out and start decorating. I have enough time to take a break. So the moral of the story is you can be living in a very humid country or working on a very rainy day. You will not have any kind of wet surface problem on your cake if you follow this simple trick. So don't forget, timing is essential. If you not be on time with the cover in the cake, so the cake will start already getting wet, uh, it's already too late, your solution will not gonna be 100% effective. So that was my Yenner's cake tip this week. Happy decorating guys. Thank you so much for watching me. God bless you all. Till to my next tip. Bye for now.